Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, we will look at understanding the foreign key constants in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is, what is a foreign key constants in SQL Server? So a foreign key is a field in a table that refers to the primary key in another table. So a foreign key establishes a relationship between the two tables. A foreign key constants is a rule that enforces this relationship. So let's jump to the demo. So let's take an example to understand this better. Suppose we have two tables. One is the orders table and the another one is the customers table. The orders table has a foreign key field that refers to the customer ID field in the customers table. This means that each order in the orders table is associated with a customer in the customer table. So if you have an order then there should be a customer for that particular order. Now if we try to insert an order with a customer ID that does not exist in the customers table then the SQL server will throw an error because the foreign key constant is violated. So this ensures the data integrity and prevents the orphan records in the database. Foreign key constants also allow us to perform the cascading operations as well. For example if we delete a record from the customer table we can set the foreign key constant to cascade the delete operation to the orders table. This means that all the orders associated with the deleted customer will also be deleted. So this prevents the orphan records to be created. To create a foreign key constraints in the SQL server, we use the alter table statement. We specify the foreign key column and the reference table and the column in the statement. We can also specify the cascading operation as well, which can prevent the orphan records in the database. So this is the alter table statement to create a foreign key on the orders table and the foreign key will be created on the customer id this column and it references the customer table so it will refer to the customer table and will refer to the customer id okay so let's try to create the customers table and then we can create the orders table so now we have two tables customers table and the orders table and the customers table has a primary key on the customer id okay now we will add a foreign key fk underscore customer id on the orders table this table and the foreign key will be created on the customer id column and that customer id it links to the customer id in the customers table okay so for example if i execute this query then it will create a simple foreign key constraints and there is no cascade delete operation okay but it's a normal usual foreign key that we create so now what will happen that if we try to insert some records into the customer table so we can insert the three customer values like customer id 1 for john then the customer id 2 for jen and the customer id 3 for the bob so let's insert the three records into the customers table so now we have the three records in the customer table now we can insert four records into the orders table and for the customer id 1 for the john we have the two orders and for rest of the two customers we have the one order so right now we have four records in the orders table so the insert is working perfectly fine but because we have a foreign key constants on the customer id so if you will try to insert a record for a customer id that does not exist in the customers table then the insert will fail okay so let's try to insert a record for a customer id that does not exist in the customer table then the operation should fail because it won't allow you to insert a customer's order that customer does not exist in the customer's table. So I'm just going to insert a record and the order ID will be 5 and suppose if I try to insert a record for the customer ID 4 and because we don't have a customer ID 4 here then the operation should fail. So if I click on execute so you can see that the insert statement conflicted with the foreign key constants fk underscore customer ID. The conflict occurred in the database school and the table customers column customer ID. So it is clearly uh, telling you that there is a foreign key constraint which is violating the orphan record to be created and that's why the insert is failing. So that's how it can avoid inconsistent data to be inserted into the tables. Now suppose if you want to enable the cascade operation on the delete then what will happen if you will delete a particular customer from the customers table then all the relevant orders will be deleted automatically from the orders table as well because if a customer is not there then there should not be any orders in the order table so if you want to do that then you can just 
execute this query and it should create a foreign key and also it will enable the cascade operation on the delete so let me first drop the existing foreign key so i can write alter table orders drop constraint and the constant name so the constant name was fk underscore customer id so i can just uh, delete this one the table name is orders so let me execute this one so the foreign key got deleted from here now i can execute this query and this will create a foreign key and will also enable the delete cascade operation so now suppose right now we have uh, you know three customers and we have four orders here okay now suppose if i delete a, the first customer john smith with the customer id 1 then it's relevant to records they should also be deleted automatically okay so let's test this option delete from customers where customer id equal to 1 okay so i'm just going to delete this one record from the customers table so one record got deleted now these two orders should also be deleted so let me check the data now so now you can see that i just deleted the customer id one record and it's related to orders also got deleted automatically and they got deleted because of the uh, cascade delete options and which can prevent the orphan records to exist in the foreign key table yeah, so that was about the foreign key constants in the sql server and i will share all these scripts with you so that you can just download it and you can test it in your environment as well yeah, so i think that's it for today's video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.